and welcome to Minecraft Skyblock One Block, the series where we started on one singular block and this time we're playing in hardcore, so we really can't die. In the last episode, I trapped all of these lovely animals. They look very pleased about it to be honest, and I also built myself a little fortress right here that is not much of a fortress yet, but we'll work on it, we'll work on it. You know how it goes everybody, we're on phase two currently, and the most important thing is that we keep breaking this block. Ah, you can't get out now, can ya? Got him. Perfect, thank you very much. This phase so far, honestly, has been completely fine. This game right now is kind of like my cozy hours game. I've been playing it only at nighttime after I'm done all my other work. Kind of love it. It's very chill so far, but I know that it's going to get very not chill very soon. Okay, I've got my first chest of the episode. String. Okay, thank you. Two zombies. No problem. We're being given quite a lot of dirt. I feel like that's a hint that I should probably be expanding maybe my farming area and my tree growing area. Hello, I like your hats. Welcome to my island. Another chest. Uh, feathers. <laughs> what do I need feathers for? I don't know. I'm fine. It's all good. Okay, all right, one more crit. Got him. Whew. I don't, I didn't like that. I feel like we've been given a fairly significant amount of iron. I mean, look at this. I've already got seven, there's four more smelting. I can make like a chest plate or something. That way at least I'm not super weak. I feel like if it wasn't hardcore, I may not do that, but it is hardcore, and if I die, I, the world ends. So it's worth it, I think. Ooh, another chest. Okay. <laughs> ha. Ooh, benevolent gift. Once again, an empty map. Ooh, I love these big trees. Normally, I don't love chopping them down, but on Skyblock, they're so good because they give you so much wood. Plus, this one's actually not too bad. I think it's pretty straightforward. I think that's about it. And since we're on the topic of lots and lots of wood, it's slab time. The very important skyblock waiting game. Saplings. Right, now let's break this heart chest and we get an upgrade. Beautiful. I actually can't remember what the next level is. We'll get to see soon. You've reached phase three, icy tundra. Winter covers the land with its icy hands. Interesting. Hello. Snow, I think. Okay, so I should probably make a shovel now, finally. Never really needed one before, but I kind of want one now. Oh, there we go, yeah. Oh, and it's giving us spruce wood. Oh, I love this level already. I think the next really important stage of Skyblock One Block for me is going to be actually expanding out this platform, turning it into something a little bit more interesting than a flat square. But in order for that to happen, I need these trees to grow. So let's break the block. Oh, it's a doggo. Hello. Don't look at my shapes. Do I have any bones? No bones. I have not killed a single skeleton. How's that even possible? If I let Doggo out, <laughs> Doggo's gonna go after my sheep. So um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just nudge you to the side. Thank you. I'm so sorry. I'll adopt you as soon as I can. I promise. I haven't seen a skeleton. Oh, <gasps> there's a skeleton. Oh. That was scary. Okay, I have two bones. You know what? I should also feed it some rotten flesh to heal it. Hello? Can I interest you in some rotten flesh to heal you? Okay, and then a bone. Eh? Oh, yes, okay. <laughs> That's all I had, so I'm so glad that you like it. Right, I have a doggo. This is now my co-pilot on this Skyblock Island, and I shall name you Lucky. Because you are lucky to be alive, to be honest. Oh, a spruce tree grew. Oh gosh, that's not very many leaves. I'm having such bad luck with my spruce trees. I really need this tree to drop a sapling. Or like three, preferably. My iron collection is now up to eight, so I think I'm going to use two of that to actually shear a sheep so that I can sleep. The grass is, uh, it's working on it. Hello, can I, 
Yeah, thank you. Oh, you gave me three. Perfect. You're gonna have to be naked for a while. It's okay. It's fine. Nobody's judging you. I love this. It means I can sleep through the night and we don't actually have to deal with nighttime. Oh, our first chest of this phase. Another disappointment. Hello. Oh, slowness arrows. Rude. <laughs> Hello. Can I have some soup, please? Thank you. Oh, gold. I think I need an iron pickaxe for that. I don't have a lot of iron though, so I'm gonna be fairly sparing with this. I thought you had my gold. I literally just got that, my dude, what? Not gonna lie, I have absolutely nowhere to put this gold thiefing fox. But you have my gold, so you can't fall off the edge. I actually think that it'll trade for berries. Hello, can we do a trade? We can, nice, thank you, thank you. Okay, so we're at that point in the game where I really gotta think about some building because these lovely foxes need a place to live. I'd like to keep some. I really like when on Skyblock Island you have these areas where there's different levels that you can walk up. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. Imagine this without all the junk, right? We have this staircase that leads upwards onto a brand new platform. So we kind of come down into the area with the one block. I kind of like this because it'll let me put walls all the way up here. And also I'll be able to do more of these staircases on each of the sides. I feel like this is my best skyblock idea yet. I'm not gonna lie. So now we count. One, two, three, four, five, six, 10, 11, 12, 13. We need to go out this far. Because I've played this before, I know that eventually there is stuff that is very useful to be able to run away from. <laughs> so I think the larger the platform is, the better. Placing slabs, placing slabs, placing, placing lots of slabs. I'm kind of out of oak wood, so I'm just gonna go ahead now and make a little pen for these foxes over here as a temporary solution. The thing about foxes is they don't actually tame unless you breed them and steal the children. So <laughs> we're just gonna run this guy out of there and oh actually that was really easy. Okay, well, wonderful. Back to block breaking now. Oh, another chest. And iron, to be fair, that's fairly useful. I will take that. Okay. Hello! I'm used to your lot now. I should probably just keep the canal open, to be honest. <laughs> it probably makes more sense. There we go, I'll just keep that connected. What have you stolen? A piece of coal. Okay, off you go, go forth. The fun thing is now that I've got two arctic foxes, I'm fairly sure I can breed them. Yeah, they made a baby! And the baby should be tame, at least a little bit. It shouldn't be as scared of me. So that's perfect. That means I don't need any more arctic foxes. Everybody else is free roaming. You've taken my cobble. <laughs> You're cute, you can have it. Go on, go forth, have an adventure. The island might actually be big enough that natural selection won't affect that fox. Okay, that's a bear. This is definitely a conflict of interest with the arctic fox. Oi! You can't bunny hunt. No, that's off limits. To be fair, it ran in there. I mean, that was, it's natural selection. Hello, bear. Please get your butt over here. Can I have my, oh, t there's two of you. Hello. Aren't you supposed to be scared of me? Aren't I big and scary? Go go do something else. Yeah, thank you. I'm gonna mine this block. Try not to die. <gasps> Doggo! Yes, okay, two bones. And your name shall be Darwin. Darwin and Lucky. <gasps> what? A monster party? Excuse me? On what planet is a monster party okay? Bro. Get out of here. Iron swords for real? Oh, they're gonna fall. Oh, I'm gonna die. Okay, uh, uh you're gonna die actually. Fair enough. I feel like that was really dramatic for no reason. We did not need all that drama. 
Okay, I'm realizing though that maybe like a little safety wall right here wouldn't be a bad thing so that I can just like tuck behind it. I feel like that would help. Soup please, thank you. Okay, I'm a little nervous now for this block. Uh, I had never seen a monster party before. Don't know what that's about. Didn't like that. Hello. Are you gonna fight? Oh, it's like an arena. Okay. You won. Good job. Okay, it's getting a little more risky over here. I like it. That's kind of fun. It adds a little bit more variety to the block, a little bit more risk, which is nice since I'm playing hardcore. Oh, dark oak saplings and some gold. Not actually enough dark oak saplings. That's kind of rude. Uh, I need four, game. I'm just gonna try and power through this block now and see if I can get to the end. Oh. Fair enough, okay. Noticing that all of the creatures that spawn into this island are extremely intelligent. Wonderful, good work, thank you. Doggo! Well, I have some bones, so you could join the family. Uh, that was almost, you almost didn't get to. Doggo party has been expanded, perfect. Another chest, rabbit's foot. <laughs> I don't really know what I need a rabbit's foot for, but sure. Okay, chill, chill, chill. Here, look, I have an army. Go forth, doggos, go forth. <laughs> it's perfect. That guy wants food more than he wants life. Not a single foot on the floor, just a head. Weird. Another chest. Dark oak saplings. Okay, so now we have enough to complete the set. Oh, good. I'm gonna plant these. I'm gonna put a dark oak right there, and hopefully I'll be able to get those saplings back. That'd be so good. I also officially have enough saplings for a spruce mega tree. That is so good. <laughs> I'm getting a little tired of tearing down all these oak ones. They're kind of small. Okay, now we power through the rest of this phase. Oh, is that it? Oh, we got ice! Oh, that's so good. And some extra dark oak. I love that. Hello. Are you the watchers? <laughs> I like that. Okay, so this ice means that I can now officially, finally, have a source of water. All I gotta do is quickly... Ouch, ouch. Yep, yeah, I'm fine. All I gotta do is do this. Okay, now I can expand my farms even more because I finally have water. Okay. That is so good for us. Oh my gosh, that fox stole a spruce sapling. Bro, those are important. And I think when we break this, the next upgrade. Yes, okay, we did it. Oh, that means we only got one bear as well. So I could clear up all of this now. One lonely bear. I'm so sorry, but I'm so glad that I saved you. Oh, the next upgrade. You've reached phase four, ocean. Strange creatures lurk in the endless deep water. Spooky. <laughs> I'm excited, okay. So before we move on to the next stage, I think it's important to do some island expansions. I wanna continue this idea and get it on three sides all the way around so that I can loop up here all the way around my island. I think that'd be so fun. Okay, another corner is done. So that is what we have so far. I like this. Really easy to walk around, I think. Oh, my dark oak grew. Perfect. We really need to get saplings from this. And on the topic of decorating, actually, I think it would be really cool to have some of these areas be like paths. How did you guys get in there? Come on, leave. Care, mind the hole. Okay, unfortunately, I think this side is gonna involve the farm animals moving, which I'm not super willing to do. Uh, um, I don't understand why they keep paying my bear a visit. Uh, anyways, I'm not gonna move the animals yet until I have like a concrete place where I can permanently put them. I am, however, going to try to spread a little bit more grass, just cause it would be cool to have a, like a grassy patch on the island. I think that'd be really pretty. And we need to spread it in more directions. I just realized I have so much iron in here that I just haven't really taken advantage of yet. So I think I'll make myself a pair of pants and a helmet out of that. Just so I'm not too weak. 
It's an upgrade. Okay, it's been a while IRL, but eh? the island. I've been working on it. Mostly I've just been waiting for trees to grow and look. I know, very impressive. I'm very impressed with myself. I very much like it. I also love the way that these pathways are kind of working out. I need to designate different areas for things now, but you kind of get the idea, right? We'll be able to walk all along here and basically this entire inner area will be like set downwards and that way nothing can fall out. I need a better tree farming area. For now though, this could work. And then we do like a fence along here. I think I'm onto something. Right, let us finally cut down the mega tree. I've been excited for this moment. I need so many blocks. I wanna make my own mob spawner. I wanna designate better areas for the animals. I need better farming platforms. And these spruce trees are gonna let me do that, which I'm excited about. Also, since I have this whole water area now, I feel like it'd be a really good idea to just go ahead and turn this into the new farming area. That way I can clean up my kind of center point over here. Okay, I'm kind of at the stage now where in order to do a lot more, I kind of need to decide what all of these sections are actually going to be for. So that's where all of you are gonna come in. Let me know what you think I should put in each of the different sort of districts that I have going on on this island. There's things that I definitely need for farming, but there's also gonna be lots of surprises coming up through this one block. So let me know if there's any advice you have for me to get me all prepared for the upcoming events. It's only episode two, and to be honest, this is already so much better than any other island I've ever designed. I'm really excited to see how this is all gonna play out and how it's gonna look. The ocean phase is the next phase that we need to worry about, but for now, everybody, it is time to say goodbye. That is all the time that I have for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and give the video a like if you're enjoying the series. Thank you so much, everyone. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.